Welcome to another episode of Your Cochrane Right Now. This is a weekly podcast all about Cochrane, Alberta, the greatest town in the world. And as always, I'm joined by Lauren Meister. My name's Eric Ruddle. And Lauren, it wasn't actually in Cochrane. It's coming to Cochrane. But we kind of got a sneak preview of what we can expect here in town in April. And I'm excited for what's to come here in Cochrane. So, yeah, we got to go to Didsbury. Yes. And, you know, this was kind of a sidebar, but we listened to 91.5 Cochrane <laughs> now the entire drive out to Didsbury, yes. which you could hear us the whole yeah. way. You were still on the air. So not to kill the magic of, of radio. So that day we kind of had to do something that we don't, don't normally do and, uh, you know, had yeah. to kill the magic. But uh, <laughs> listen to you the whole way out there but yes. you could listen to the radio and uh we got to hang out with gord bamford we did so gord bamford has kicked covid in the you know where tour yeah uh, it's going all over alberta yeah. and this is a really cool tour because he also like uses it to support local charities so cocker now was able to present two shows didsbury and cocker now the Cochrane show it's been a little bit postponed and all that Couple stuff. Of times. Yeah, right. So now it's going in April. It's going to happen in February. But let me tell you, that is one heck of a show. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, just the energy, the crowd. You could tell a lot of these people, like, they had not been out. They had not put their Wranglers on and their cowboy boots and their hats on in, like, two years. So people were raring to go. So right, I think it was the first song when that lady got up and she wanted to dance. Oh, yeah. And unfortunately... Dancing wasn't a part of the evening. I mean, I wish everybody wished that it could have been because yeah. you want to dance along to Gord Bamford. But so she went right up to the stage and she was like full on. She wanted to do like a selfie video, like with Gord yeah. in the background. But security had to kind of walk her back to her seat. But did you notice that every single time she went up to go to get a drink, she was like dancing to go get a drink? Oh, yeah. No, she was raring <laughs> to go. And yeah, she got escorted back to her seat by <laughs> security at a show in Didsbury. But <laughs> Like, if you've never been there before, uh, it was my first time at the Didsbury Multi-Use Plex. Yeah. Uh, it is a hall, right? It, yeah. it is your simple hall. It'd be like your Frank Wills here, right? Let me tell you, Gord put on as big of a show as possible yeah. that he could, right? Oh, there yeah. was video walls. There was smoke. There was <laughs> a full, like, light show on the roof. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to do this in Cochrane. Oh, I think it's going to be a big hit. It's going to be a huge party. And fingers crossed that we can dance by then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I announced on stage, you and I were the MCs. And I was like, oh, it's footloose rules, no dancing. And everybody booed me. <laughs> they know. booed me. But oh. uh, we also got there. And I don't know if uh, people know this, but I'm not much of a cowboy, right? So I don't own cowboy boots. But Lauren's husband was nice enough to be like, hey, I have an older pair I don't wear. Here you go. So yeah. I'm like, well, perfect. Well, thank you, man. They're a little bit big <laughs> by about two and a half sizes, but we took them. So we're sitting in the cruiser, ready to go in, talk to the people before the show. And I'm like, Lauren, do you wear cowboy boots <laughs> with your pant leg over <laughs> or under? And you were useless. You were like, I don't, why would I know well, that? I'm a girl. Fashion's a little bit different. Anytime I've worn cowboy boots with jeans, like I wear skinny jeans, right? So then my boots go over my jeans. And then yeah. other than that, I wear a dress. So like, yeah. that's not an issue. So in my mind, I'm like picturing all the cowboy shows I've ever seen. I'm like, you can tell they're wearing cowboy boots. And why would you have such a fancy design on the side of your boot? If you're not going to show it up. It's, that's, that's a fair point. So I jam my pant leg into the boot. And I walk in. I'm well, and also confident. also you don't want them to fall off. Uh, right? Yes, because they're way too big. <laughs> so walking in, talking to people, feeling pretty cowboy. And then I start to look around. And in Didsbury, there is real cowboys. Like you can tell the difference between like your stampede cowboys and real cowboys. Oh, 100%. They are real cowboys. Oh, so yeah. let me tell you. Not one male had his boots, <laughs> his pants tucked into his boots. So, yeah, oh. that was a very awkward, like, oh, guys, I need to go sit down as I'm trying to, like, rearrange <laughs> my pants. To... Yeah. Oh, at least you discovered it really early on before yeah. you went on to stage. Because I would imagine that you would have got booed boo. right off the stage. Boo, fix her boots. <laughs> like, who is uh. this guy? What are you doing? But it is a valid point because cowboy boots, like, they have intricate detail, yes. right? Like, they're really, they're very, they're fancy. See, they're nice. So, like, why don't we show them off? And how can you tell somebody's wearing cowboy boots? I could be wearing, like, pointed 
toed like dress boots, and they look pretty much the same. That's yeah. I mean, that's that's valid. So we should start a trend: <laughs> men wearing their pants tucked into their boots. I was just hoping. I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping that you were gonna trip and fall because oh, they're too big. Especially like the steps onto the stage were about they like were really three narrow. inches wide, right? So, and I had about three inches of my boot of just nothing, just so, flopping around. Exactly, and they were pointy toed, so it was close a couple of times. It, it was it was close. And cowboys, do they wear really long socks? Because don't you think then your pants would protect your leg? So are they wearing like really? I don't. What do you All mean these you don't questions. Know? I don't know. I'm a girl. But I don't know. If I was know. riding a horse, lifting hay, <laughs> doing manual labor, wouldn't I need to these, like protect my calves? These are things that I don't do, so I don't know. I think don't wranglers they don't have the seam on the inside of the leg, right, to prevent but that. Your, your leg isn't touching the jeans; they're touching the boot. Yeah. So are you wearing long socks? Well, cowboys are rough and tough. It's not going to bother them. It, they, blisters will bother anyone. Yeah, but they they develop calluses. Oh my gosh! Come on, so they don't have like office like softy skin like you have. So their calf is just a big old callus. <laughs> Probably. Oh my. Real goodness. cowboys. Real cowboys. <laughs> Oh, we need some education in this. Probably. But uh, yeah, Gore Bamford, when he comes to Cochrane in April, uh, it's going to support BGC of Cochrane yeah. area. So that's a great cause. There was, I don't know how they're doing it here in town, but at that one, there was a 50 50 that had yeah. over $1,200. Yeah. Oh, and the lady who won the 50 50, she didn't even blink an eye. She just she, instantly she put that money right back into the band society. Yeah, I was a little bit confused by that because we came over and we're like, oh, $600. She's like, I want to give 500 to the band. Right. I thought she meant Gord. <laughs> I don't think she meant Gord. I think she meant the band society, which was the fundraiser for the okay. evening. It's it's kind of a mystery, but that's what I'm yeah, going with. Right, because, I don't know, giving $500 to Gord, is that like, Gord's like, oh my goodness? Or is he like, thank you? Like, <laughs> that's Gord super change. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. And another show coming to our area, at least, the Spring Bake Air Show has announced yeah. a new date in July. So excited for this. So this is the end of July, July 25th-ish yeah. or so. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's going to be a really fun event because it was canceled last year, I think, because of COVID. And do you remember a couple of years ago, they actually had to shut it down early because of the strong winds? Yeah. Did a stand get blown over? Oh, a porta potty oh, got blown right. over. Do you remember that? That's nightmare fuel right there. Uh, yeah. Like, could you, I can't even, I, I honestly can't imagine a worse situation scenario than that because it fell on the door right like did they yeah. get trapped in there? i think somebody yeah. got trapped in there or maybe we're making this up but even if <laughs> no, we are I... making it up like that that's a nightmare yeah yeah i can't yeah. think of anything worse than that I, I i don't think that there is anything no, worse right than that. because also you're in spring bank right so it's not like you're you're in town and you're like i'm gonna be home in two minutes yeah to change no, yeah you you're in the middle of the country in your stinky car for Oof. 20 25 Oof. minutes Oof. as you drive home covered in Blue and other things that rhyme oh, with blue. No, but <laughs> no, no. Hopefully that doesn't happen. This Hopefully year. it's not a windy couple of days. And uh, I mean, the air show is always so much fun to see. We got a little bit of a sneak peek, of course, this last year when the snowbirds yeah. flew over Cochrane. But this is going to be like a full fledged show, and it's just it's always a treat to watch. Yeah. So, Lauren, whenever you're on the morning show, do you ever get the urge to like hype up a song, like just? <laughs> Totally be like, and here's Blake Shelton. <laughs> uh, not quite that enthusiastic because no? I'm not like a jock from 1985. But, but that's why you don't have Andy's job. Probably. Because Andy yeah. is the king here in Cochrane. It's true. It's true. It, yeah. He, he honestly, he brings all of the energy uh, for, you know, the people who come to the Cochrane Generals games. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know Andy, he is the he is the DJ. Yeah. He is the guy playing the tunes, announcing the players. And it's all actually volunteer work. Yeah, he volunteers his time. So he actually was just presented with his own special personalized uh, Cochrane General's jersey, which is really cool. And he was surprised. He was just all of a sudden called up to the center of the ice. He didn't even know what it was for, and they gave mm -hmm. him this jersey. But uh, when he first started doing this back in, I think, 2016, he was playing all of the music just from one little little iPod. Awesome. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> like trying to run a whole game. Yeah. Like, could you imagine doing what we do with a little iPod? Like, it's, like especially like a nano, right? You're like yeah. spinning like, tick, tick, 
and you're trying to like see what the, the what the music like you remember them oh, right yeah, like, you can't even see so what it big. is and you're trying to like spin it and yeah. like I couldn't even imagine doing that so uh, he's got a lot more equipment now and he's <laughs> rocking yeah and he's got like a ton of songs and stuff mm-hmm. but like picking the right songs that go with whatever's going on in the yeah. game and just like the energy you'd have to bring that's that's a very it takes a very special personality to do that job yeah because going to Jen's games right like seeing hockey awesome but the atmosphere yeah. and the music blasting like it is fun especially on a weekend yeah just to go to the ice and just have a ton of fun so huge shout out to andy yeah he, he's a rock star yes and uh i found out this week that a show shot just south of us i, I think it's been shot all over but heartland we've all seen it in one place or another it is loved by the u.s and is actually the fifth biggest stream show of the last year there 20 <laughs> billion minutes why I I don't even know. That's incredible. That's I, I just can't believe that they're still making it. I mean, not to knock Heartland. Oh yeah, no, I mean, it, great. that's no, no it is great. great. But this show has been on forever, yeah. and it's still being made. It's incredible. It's the longest running Canadian one-hour drama series of all time. Wow. And yeah, the states like if you go onto American websites now, people are asking like, "What's Heartland?" and why is everybody so excited for it? Wow. My theory is. Yellowstone gaining a lot of speed, right. cowboy up, right? Only four seasons, so you finish a Yellowstone, and you're like, man, I could go for some more cowboys. Oh, what's this horse girl <laughs> show? And then you've got years of content. Oh, there. totally. Like you got something to binge watch for the next year and a half. But right? it beat out Squid Games, Bridgerton, <laughs> uh, Pretty much everything but like Coco Melon and I- NCIS. Coco Melon? You don't know what Coco Melon is? I it is the know. biggest kid show in the world and it is terrible. I, that's, yeah, no, I'm good to not know. No? Yeah, yeah it's a just, bunch of songs. Your, your kids are a little bit older. Oblivious yeah. to that one. But, and did you see what the biggest YouTube video of all time no. is? No. Yeah, or with te- over 10 billion views, Baby Shark. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. 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 And again, I kind of missed the boat on that one. Oh. My, my, that came out when my kids were already like just past that. Yeah, Did your, your kids your really get into that? Your turning nine today. Yeah. I'm sure that's, he's having a baby shark party, right? <laughs> I, you know what? He actually like despises that song. Anytime uh, people sing that, he's just cool. like, exactly. Mm. He's way too cool for that song. So uh, we kind of missed the boat on that one too. Yeah, no, yeah. You're, you're lucky. You're but, very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but Heartland, that's, oh, wow. Yeah, so that's, it's going to really be... Cool. Crazy to see where it goes because yeah. I believe last year they released two seasons in one year. Wow. So obviously not slowing down. And does that mean their budget's going to go through the roof? Do you make a lot of money when you're the most streamed show in the U.S.? I don't know. Well, I'm just thinking like if it becomes this popular down in the States, like what is this going to mean for like the stampede? Oh, you know, like if people are going to really get in, like embrace cowboys and cowgirls, like people are going to be coming to Alberta. Yeah. Yeah, you know? and you gotta imagine there's gonna be more people like me who have no idea how to wear cowboy boots. You'll fit in. Yes. See, I'm gonna there bring you, the trend there in. There you go. You should start a trend on TikTok, like your own channel <laughs> oh, or something. Perfect. All right, <laughs> we're gonna end there. That is all the time we have today. Thank you again for hanging out with us. You can grab this podcast anywhere you listen on your Spotify, Apple Music, all those places. Draw, throw down a review and a like or a share, whatever you can do. It really helps the show. Yeah. And I'll talk to you again next week. Thank you. 